Hey you guys, I know it has been a long time since I did a jewelry making video, so we are finally going to do something with our bear stickers. So excited. And so just to answer the question, cause I know I get this question multiple times and I mean, maybe I don't say it at the beginning, but I get all of my jewelry blanks from Hobby Lobby or Michaels. And then I get all of the earring findings like the hooks and everything else from Michaels as well. The drill is a cordless Dremel drill from Lowe's that my husband picked up for me. And I totally love it. So I don't, um, I don't poke holes or fight with holes for those that come without the holes already pre-drilled because it's just too much trouble. So, and not only that, I don't want to cut myself trying to poke a hole. But if you just get the cordless drill from Lowe's or you probably could order one online, and then you're gonna have to get the bits separately. I don't think it came with all the bits that I needed for the drill. This pair, I'm just gonna do like a paint smattering kind of color. They're gonna be multiple colors. So what else can I tell you? So you get the, the fine head drill bits that you need for the earring holes. I wanna say it's one quarter, but don't quote me on that. Um, but when you go to Lowe's, just let them know you need the cordless Dremel and that you're gonna be making jewelry and you need something that's small enough bit wise to make a hole and they'll be able to point you in the right direction for the bits that you need to choose, okay? And then the stickers I got from Five Below. And then I got these while that's drying. I got these from Hobby Lobby. So they already have the holes. The only thing is they only come in this one size. So if you want like larger pieces, they maybe have them on Amazon, but I've never ordered supplies from Amazon. I know a lot of people do. So just to show you a comparison. You can get some that are this size. These came from Michaels. I think they have the Hobby Lobby as well. The larger teardrop Michaels, but see the difference in size. And then these are a thicker wood as well from, well, better quality wood, the ones from Hobby Lobby. But I like them both. I use all of them. And then your ear hooks and all that stuff, any craft store, even Dollar Tree has that now. So it doesn't matter. As long as you find what you want, what you like and what you're looking for, that's what matters most. So, so for now, I know I want to do like a black and white checkered print on one of these. And then my second earring video, we're going to do, I've been wanting to do like a gunmetal chain hanging from a pair of earrings because I don't have, I think I've said this so many times, maybe years ago, I have no black earrings. So every time I go to wear something where I want like a homemade or handmade pair of black earrings, I never have them. So I'm going to make something like that. So here I'm just making some smatterings. That's all. Nothing special. It actually probably looks a little messy starting out. But you can do whatever color you want, however you want. I have some white paint. Because keep in mind, when you're putting your bears on, I want mine to look like super colorful. So I could either put the pink bear or either the little teal colored bears. I think that's what I'm going for. And then for you, those of you that are new following me, first of all, welcome. It's, um, we're almost at 5,000 subscribers, which blows my mind. I know that may not seem like a lot to some people, but it's a lot to me. I'm super excited about that. Um, thank you for being here. Thank you for following, because I know it's been a long time since I've made jewelry videos. So welcome. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to promise that I'm going to make them as often, but I hope to be more consistent how about that and what i'm gonna do is while those are drying i'm gonna go ahead and put i wanted my tape so i could kind of line this off let's see if i can do this what i want is to be able to line it off but i couldn't find my scotch tape before we got on here so we're gonna have to make this up as we go Because what I want to do is be able to have black and white, like checkerboard or stripes, but I just need kind of something to use as a guide. I'm probably going to be better off trying to freehand it, so let's do that. And as I always say, it doesn't have to be perfect because you know these are still wet, so 
You, can, you may see some of the blue come through and I'm fine with that. And then this angled brush isn't as angly as it should be. The paint's a little thick. But guess what? It's one of a kind statement jewelry. Who's gonna check you to? <laughs> Nobody. So you make them look like you want them to look. And I know there'll be somebody, cause honey, I get some negative comments sometimes. They'll be like, those are so ugly. I know, well, don't wear them, don't make them, it's okay. Sometimes ugly is cute. Okay, so then bring your other one over and try to match it as much as you can. How have you guys been? Let me just ask you that. Oh my gosh, I've had so much going on. So as some of you know, I own a real estate firm and real estate has been just crazy in a weird way. Like, so four years ago, the Lord told me to get my insurance license, which I did. And I was selling insurance part-time. And he told me when he told me to get my insurance license that the real estate market was going to change and it did and has it. And I'm so grateful to God that I listened and follow the Holy Spirit. So when God tells you to do something, go and do it. So October was my first full-time month as an insurance broker and agency owner. And so it has gone really great. I love selling insurance. I think I may have said that before. Um, and I've done videos on the ups and downs, the highs and the lows in any business, that's what you're gonna have. And so I sell life and health insurance. So I sell life, whole life, term life, index universal life, annuities, and like hospital plans. So like people that are self-employed or independent contractors and they want like to be able to go to the emergency room or have pap smears, prostate exams, things like that, and they need health insurance, I sell those type of policies through a company called Manhattan Life. So we're gonna let these dry. They don't look like much now, but they will. So let's set those off to the side. And then what we're gonna do is pick like some colors that go along with the paint spatter for these. And look, I have on a painty shirt, so I'm just gonna wipe my hands on there. Cause guess what, it's my shirt. <laughs> right, so let's do, ooh, let's do like a bubblegum pink. That's what I was looking for. And so I don't have a favorite paint. These are Craftsmark. And I bought these really large sizes when I was doing wall paintings for my office which I haven't done any large paintings in quite a while. So I have a ton of this paint. You just wanna mix it really well. And so one thing about less expensive paint, cause I have higher end paint along with less expensive paint, the less expensive paint is going to crack. So just know that the, the cheaper the paint, the more you are susceptible to cracks in the paint, okay? Whereas if you really want like a higher quality, I don't wanna say these aren't low quality, but I'm just saying you're gonna have cracks if your paint's really thick when you're using a less expensive paint. That's probably what I'm trying to say. Cause all paints are good for whatever it is that they do. You just gotta know that if you're doing paintings that you're gonna be selling, you wouldn't use Craftsmart paint for your full paint. Or if you do, you just wouldn't do um, thick coats of it. You do thinner coats. This color is pretty, isn't it? So I like that. So look, that's really pretty. So we're gonna let those dry. I love the smatherings. Oh, that's so pretty. So, I'm gonna sit those to the side. And then I was hoping I had some circles so I could at least, well, we're gonna do the gunmetal chain earrings. So just know for the next video that comes after this one, if I don't run out of steam, we're either gonna use the smaller teardrops or we're gonna use ovals. And see, I'm gonna take this chain and put it on the earring. This chain is kind of heavy, so let me see. I have some gold chain that's not as heavy. So what we're gonna do is somehow I'm gonna look and see, I'm gonna find a video on how to tarnish it and make it black because if I paint it black, it's probably not gonna hang right. 
and I still want it to have that free flowing flinginess to it, but I don't have any spray paint. So I'm gonna see how I can use something caustic, like maybe baking soda or something like that to get the varnish off of it, I mean the color off of it. So it'll be like a dark black color. That's what I want for our chain mail earrings I'm gonna make. So, okay, so these are still semi-wet. And so, thank you, man. <laughs> so now we have the black paint. And so I'm gonna do my best to stay away from the white as much as possible. I probably won't. <laughs> but what I love about outlining with black is it makes it almost like a, um, makes it dimensional. So if, you be sure, if you're sure to wipe the brush off, then what'll happen is you won't get like a gray. You know what I mean? Like if they, if the paint kind of runs together. I'm gonna hold it up so you can see it as well, but let me just get this part down. Okay, I was fixing a little boo-boo right here, so look how pretty. You could even leave them like that and not even put the um, the bear on here, but look how cute that little blue bear right there would be on this earring. I love that. So then let's do the other one to match. And let me show you something else while these are drying. I'm just fixing a little boo-boo I had right there. So I always get this question as well about what do I use to gloss the earrings? And so this is what I use, Mod Podge Dimensional Magic, screenshot that. I used to use triple thick, but it takes too long to dry. It can also impact your designs. So like I remember painting, this is when I stopped using it. I painted some palm trees on some earrings and it was like a sunset scene and they were gorgeous. And the next day when I went to check on them to see if they were dry, the triple thick had completely distorted the picture, ruined them. <laughs> so I had to do them again. So that's why I use the Mod Podge Dimensional Magic because it will give you the look of glass. It give you that really pretty shine too and it literally doesn't take but a few hours to dry, although I do let them dry overnight. It just gives you a really great gloss. So take a screenshot of that. You don't want to shake it up because it will get air bubbles. You also cannot apply heat to it like you can with resin to get the air bubbles out. So you're gonna need a pin or like something pokey to get bubbles out if you get them on your design because once they dry, if they have bubbles, they're gonna keep the bubbles, okay? So just a tip there, don't shake it up, okay? And here we're just following the line. And I just use white paper um, when I'm doing the videos, just so the earrings stand out and they're easier for you to see. Because if I just had it on this dark brown background, the table, it wouldn't show up as well.
Oh, and then reference insurance. I know somebody told me one time they wanted to watch me create, not hear about insurance, but this is my ministry as well. I'm in any business I in, I'm in or have is marketplace ministry. So there's that. Um, you can skip past this part, but I'm licensed in multiple states. And so if you or your family have a need, I want you to reach out to me. I'd love to help you. If you have a new baby or young children in your family that don't have insurance, it's a perfect grow up plan and a way for them to have opportunity to borrow money from themselves when they get older. It's not just for if they pass away, because most people, you know, you don't want to think about your child passing away, but that's not just what it's for. So FYI. If you need me, I'd love to serve you. My number is 910-494-7798. Or do check the messages here. And you can just send me a message. So look how pretty that is. So we're going to set this one off to the side. That one's going to take um, quite a minute to dry. So let's see. I kind of want to add some white to these. But I don't want them both to be white. So I'm thinking maybe a light purple. Because I already have white in the other one. So let's use this really pretty light purple color. And then this little do that this little paint palette i got from dollar tree i was at dollar tree i want to say yesterday and or today no sam dollar dollar general oh my gosh they have so many craft supplies they have a great craft section too i was like y'all yeah, showing out all right now okay so again we're just gonna do some smatherings like that That's just me trying to match that one up over there. So I do want to add some white because I just can't help myself. <laughs> but look how pretty they're going to look. And I haven't decided which Care Bear I'm going to I didn't mean to say Care Bear. Which bear I'm gonna put with these, so. So I haven't decided which sticker I'm gonna put with these yet, so let's do, I do wanna add a little bit of white only because it's calling my name. And I have a habit of doing dots on everything, so let me just stick with, I love dots, so let's stick with dots, okay? And I'm just using the end of the brush, but you can use a dotting tool. I just don't know where mine is. It might be in that cup over there and I feel like looking for it. So let's just use this tool. And what's awesome about the Mod Podge Dimensional Magic is when you use it and you put a gloss on your earrings, it's gonna make all the um, other colors really pop, right? So like that first brush stroke I put on there with that hot pink, it's not showing up necessarily as much now. But when you go to put a gloss on it, it's gonna show up really well. You could use clear nail polish if you want to, but I just feel like clear nail polish has a habit of yellowing, which probably wouldn't show up as much on these um, because of the color. But depending on the color of your earrings, you do wanna be careful or cautious using clear nail polish because of the formaldehyde in it. It could yellow your design, okay? Pretty. And these would be gorgeous just as regular earrings without the sticker, okay? So let's do this one to match. You can skip ahead if you want to.
Okay. Beautiful. And trust me, I've been making jewelry for over 20 years or longer. Let me see, 1991. How many years is that? I don't need to try to break my brain. I'm not great at math. That's why I got calculators. I have a degree in marketing and business administration. So let's use our calculator. 33 years making jewelry. Let's do it that way. 33 years. And so no one in 33 years has ever said, well, Garlinda, they don't look like they go together, right? Or they look similar, but they're not matching. So it does, they don't have to be perfect. They're going to be beautiful regardless. So because of the drying time on those, we have time to make another pair. So why don't we use these that already have holes in them. Ooh, and let's do like an orangish, yellowy kind of pair. Let's get some clean paper. My Virgo was like, mm -mm, we're not gonna use that. <laughs> right? I do not follow celestial signs, so I'm just saying that would be funny. So, let's see, let's find a yellow. That one. Let's see, her. Let's go with her. I said that because I'm controlling. I have a controlling personality, that's why I said that, so. And look, this will be a cute bear to put on there. Isn't that so cute and funny? So let's do that one. And then we can do shades of orange and red and this gold colored yellow. I think that'll be really pretty. So let's make sure we find the side that, ha the side that has the smooth wood green. I had was a brush that was kind of soft. Let's use this one. These, I need some new brushes. Anybody love me enough to send me some brushes? Let me know. <laughs> I need to do better. I don't have any wubby like brushes. That's what I wish I had. I need to buy some more. And I'm joking. You don't need to send me brushes. I need to just go buy some. Just being being random because when I go to the craft store sometimes I go for one thing and forget that I maybe would want something else don't forget to paint the back of your earring as well some people do some people don't but I just think it should look good because sometimes, you know, your earring flips around. You want it to look good even when it flips around. Now come to think of it, that sticker may hang off the end of this, which is fine because we can always, I'll show you what to do if you have stickers that hang, how you can paint the back of the sticker or put something on the back of the sticker so it no longer has its stickiness and it can hang off and look dimensional because I think that'll be cute. So that's probably what we'll do with this one. Now, if you're gonna paint the sides like this and you're using paper like I'm using, be sure to take this off the paper because it's going to stick and then you're gonna have paper stuck to your finding. You're not gonna be happy about that. You don't have to paint around the edges, but I just like for things to look finished. So let's put that over there. This red paint brush is chipping so it keeps dropping little pieces on the end. There we go. Let's let those dry and I'll be right back. So not that you asked, but while we're waiting on those to dry, this is my favorite glue. 
You can get this from Lowe's. They may have it at Walmart as well, but take a screenshot of that. It's called Tight Bond, quick and tight. Multi-surface glue, it dries so quickly and just really great. I never use, I don't use the word never. It is rare if I use super glue at all. I don't love E6000 only because of the smell, but I think it's a great glue. But also if you sell your work and you set up at craft fairs or anything like that, if you use E6000 and it's really hot outside, you run the risk of it getting loose. And um, it could, it could melt like melt again and break down and so now your findings won't be as tight so you have to be careful with that as a glue but i've not found that to be the case with this tight bond so it's like my new favorite favorite glue so if you don't have a lowe's near you another glue i love a lot right at the dollar tree is aline's tacky glue i think it's called tacky glue that is some good stuff and it's multi-purpose so it works well with all different types of projects so I, I like that as well that's probably my i would say that's my first favorite they're neck and neck and it's accessible so like if you want to make jewelry you know affordably economically so you can sell it and make money just get everything as much as you can from the dollar tree And then Five Below has some incredible stickers. So if you want to do caricature stickers or anything like that, um, they have so much to choose from. Okay, so you'll notice that these are still drying, but I'm gonna go back and put one more smattering of white on these on a different brush. Sorry for reaching across the screen. Instead of me reaching across like some common sense. Right? Okay. okay, so I think I want to add one more color to these, and I'm so undecided of what color. What do y'all think? I love my little raggedy sweatshirt. This is like my painting and design sweatshirt. Uh oh, I made a poo poo over here. My brush rolled over the earring. Okay. I always use the same color. I was thinking about that, but I don't want to. 
I'm always using the same color as a white green. Ooh, I do, I want the apple green. Why don't we do that? Okay. Only thing, I'm not sure I'm gonna love that. Mm. So let's do that on the yellow one instead of messing with putting green with pink. I don't wanna do that. So let's do something with it over here. I'm just making some stripes. I do have a finer tip brush. Now remember your sticker is gonna take up a large space. You wanna make sure to bring your design as close to the end or within the frame, you know what I mean? That's pretty. So that was good. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some orange, like a blood orange and some red. We're gonna do that design to match the mustard colored orange there. That's gonna be pretty. Okay, yeah. so I decided to use my ball tool. I'm missing one of them. I had a smaller one. I got this from Hobby Lobby in their paint and clay section. So wherever you see polymer clay, it's basically a polymer clay sculpting tool. Um, so that's where you'll find the, these big old chunky balls. This orange color was a little bit diluted. I have no clue why. So I'm gonna do something on top of it, like maybe a red or something like that. I think it was grabbing a little bit because the green's still wet. So it's running a little bit because like I said, it's really watery. I have no clue why. Because I haven't added any water to that paint. So we definitely need, we like pizza. <laughs> so we definitely need to let those dry because if we try to do anything with that, it's gonna get messed up because you'll notice, oh, sorry. Let me slide it back. Because this one right here is running a little bit. So I'm gonna let them dry off camera right in front of us. And let's check on these. So these are almost dry. Like, really. So I'm just trying to decide if I want to add anything else to them. Let's see, why don't we take our bears out of the pack now? I'm 
know, this thing is like child proof. <laughs> so look how cute they are. Oh, this one's really cute. So I'm thinking I want to go with that one. Look how cute that is. Oh my gosh, that's so sweet. I'm just turning around towards me to see how to be positioned. So because this one has like some yellow and blue and like a hot pink or orange on its little tummy, I may try to add something like that in here to tie it in. So let me let this dry a little bit more so that there, that way we can add like a few more yellow or green stripes. That's funny because remember I was going to use the green and was like, no, let's leave that alone. However, that'll be really cute because that color is in there, but I think they need to dry some so we don't smear it. So I'll be right. Okay, so I couldn't wait. <laughs> so let's go ahead and let's do some, I want to do like a rainbow kind of, um, like an upside down U. Like an upside down happy face, I guess if you want to call it that. And then let's add the green on the inside of that, okay, but just a little short stripe. And that's just to tie the tummy in, okay? And then the blue is coming together, so we're going to need to add some other type of color to the blue. Even though I haven't decided on which bear yet, so let's see. Oh, we did say, I think we said this one right here. Which he will take up a large, well not that much. I needed to lay it down to look for myself. He won't take up that large of a portion because he's that big and then it's just kind of hard to see only because of the camera, but he should fit on there. His leg may hang off a little bit, but that'll be fine. Or we could do him. He'll fit on there perfectly. The only thing is we already have so much yellow and I don't want to do any more yellow, so... Let's do some light blue on here, like add some more light blue lines. And I think we'll use this shade. And that'll tie him right in. All right. I know that's kind of annoying. I could do that off camera, but Okay. 
Ew. Only because this really isn't a fine tip pen. It's kind of fine. Let's see. I do have one that might be. This one will probably work a little bit better, but it almost seems like it's glued stuck, and that's just because sometimes I'm not as conscious with my brushes as I should be. So this one kind of looks like that. One. Let's just stick with the one we have. Maybe I'll get a fine tip pen, I mean, paintbrush someday. So let's see how, I'm just gonna do some lines in between the lines. So that gives it a nice dimension because remember your hole is going to be up there so I didn't need to put anything up there. And this is how you could just make you some regular designs, even if you didn't have stickers, right? Just make some regular earrings, how cute these would be. And you could put like a stone or something in the middle, or you could use a sticker, like some other type of, they had some really pr pretty mosaic style, t <clears throat> can't even talk, mosaic style t stickers. Oh, that's like a tongue twister. Mosaic style stickers at the Dollar Tree. Or you could use the floral stickers we've done in the past. You could use anything. I haven't paid attention to the stickers lately, but I'm going to now that I have a little bit more time on my hand. I've gotten a better control of my schedule. In my opinion. <laughs> so I'm hoping to do more videos. I have really missed designing and doing design videos. So while those are drying, I'm just gonna say we could do the basis for the other earrings, but I showed you the chain of what we're gonna use for the gunmetal earrings. So go ahead also and get your paint together. We're gonna do some charcoal gray. Looking for the gray panel. We're gonna use like a gunmetal blue. And this is by Americana. This is called Deep Midnight Blue. And then we're gonna do some gray. I like this color too. We're going to use that maybe as an accent. I'm going to paint down here. Oh, I don't see my dark gray color, but I have some other dark gray, so we may have to mix some black along with some black, that blue or some black and some white to get the gunmetal color that I want but we can do it and but I do want to incorporate this I think it's like a midnight blue that's gonna be pretty so get you those paints so you can make that alongside I want to add one more little touch of yellow over here where we had a gap in our color where the pink was still wet
Okay, so we're good to go. And now the last ones we wanna do an update on are these. They are still really, really wet. So what I'm gonna try to see is, let's see if I wanna do a dot. If I can do it without the paint mixing up. It looks like it wants to mix up a little bit. Yeah, it's still too wet. Let me see if I try to use the brush, if that'll work. I mean, I'm literally picking up scoops of paint to deep it on. And this will probably take all night to dry. Only because it's super thick. So I'm not gonna rush these to dry. Sorry for reaching across the camera. Looks good. All right, so looks like we gotta let everything dry. Feel like I want to do just one more. Just can't leave well enough alone, right? Let's see if I want to add just a little something to these. Oh, but they all have yellow. Let's see. Maybe like a powder blue. Ooh, I forgot, this is like a pearl blue. Look how pretty. I forgot I had that. All these paints came from Michaels or Hobby Lobby. Uh, these came from Michaels. Look at that pretty pearl blue. In the dishwasher? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Yay. I feel like I got carried away today with dots, but you do whatever design or style you want on yours. It'll be fine. I don't know. I must have been a, in a dotty mood. Who knows? Ooh, but this little bear, look how cute. He has 
like a pink little heart, like right there in his cloud. So maybe we'll do like a little doo doo of pink or something. I don't mean doo doo, but like, you know what I mean, like a little dab of pink somewhere. Let's see. I'm just doing it on the end to make it look like it's coming off the edge.
This just needs to on a little bit more color in there to tie in the blue. Okay, so now we have to let them dry so we can drill the holes in the top. Oh, and then we have to paint the back. So, gotta let them properly dry so the backs can be painted. Drill the holes in the top of the tooth here that don't have the pre drill holes. And then glue the bears on. And we have some gorgeous earrings, so stay tuned. 